Hello everyone, in this tutorial video we are going to study the Dupit's original formula that he had given to in order to calculate the formula for discharge in any given uh, confined or unconfined aquifer. So originally the formula was given by the uh, Dupit's and then it was later formulated by the Thiemens and he has given his own formula in order to calculate the uh, value of the discharge. So we will look also in how both of these uh, differ and what are the major difference between both of them. So uh, almost all the assumptions which had been made in the Thiemens formula that hold good for the Dupit's formula also but the only difference if you consider or if you compare both of these uh, formulation is that in the case of the Thiemens and the limit in when we were integrating the limits were between R1 and R2 in the two observation wells in a Thiemens formula but if you are doing for the Dupit's that integration will be between RW and R where RW is the radius of the main pumped well and R is the radius of the influence. So now next thing is that what is basically is the uh, radius of influence. So from this diagram you can see that this is the main uh, pump, main uh, well that has been dug in through this uh, unconfined aquifer and this is the cone of depression and after this point the water level is almost horizontal. It means till this point the cone of depression or uh, drawdown has its effect. So if you draw a circle over here that will be a circle of radius R. So that is uh, basically the radius of influence and RW is the radius of the well. So if you know both of these things and then we can integrate and then we can determine the formula that was originally given by the Dupit in order to calculate the discharge for the confined as well as unconfined aquifer. So again we have to do the same thing which will take discharge equals to KIA where um, I is hydraulic gradient equals to dh over dr case coefficient of permeability we will just now integrate here from rw to r and uh, putting down the limits then we will get this formula of discharge equals to uh, pi k d square minus hw square over 2.3 log 10 r over rw so if we know the all these unknown values then we can determine the value of discharge the main problem is that how we can estimate this uh, radius of influence but because that is something that is not seen by the naked eye so how we are going to do that so there were some scientists who given the um, some of the arbitrary values of this r um, let's say that uh, Schlesinger given 150 meter Tolman has given 300 meter they said that we can take this value and then we will calculate the value of discharge so in the question it will be given we don't have to worry about that in the question it will be given the value of r d k and thus you only need to calculate the value of discharge for artesian and non artesian um, aquifers so uh, he also said that the one scientist also said that we can replace this r by c q s is constant and q is discharge and we can put over this value over here and then if you go through heat and trial method then we can determine the value of discharge if uh, we need to dis find out the value of this so this was uh, the alternate way but uh, mostly value of r is given we will just work out with the value of q in the question so also he has given the same uh, dupit's formula discharge formula for the confined or artesian aquifer also that was hw height of the drawdown rw radius of the well are uh, the radius of the um, any arbitrary uh, any arbitrary well that could be drawn over here that is the radius r again we will just integrate it for the limits r w to r then we will get the this formula that will be for the uh, confined artesian aquifer then if we put the value of all these unknown quantities then we can get the value of the discharge for this artesian aquifer okay this uh, d minus hw can also be reduced uh, can be substituted by the uh, cons by the terminal that is s that is a drawdown so we can just uh, work out on this formula there's nothing to explain over here then uh, it was there could also be one condition in which uh, the whatever the uh, we are just digging down, down the wells there may be case that there will be a partial penetration in an aquifer means that whatever the um, wells that we are drawing down that uh, well would won't go to the 
extreme bottom of any impervious soil so there may be a case of the partial penetration in that case this formula for unconfined and confined they are just uh, there uh, there is a modification in this formula here you can see that this is a uh, full penetrating to an impervious layer so there may be a case that uh, we have just drawn and uh, um, weld the paint ring just partially to an aquifer so in that case there will be some modification in the formula and that was that modification was given by Kozenzi and he just introduced several unknown quantities and he has just modified the Dupitz formula and this is the formula for the discharge for partially penetrating uh, unconfined aquifer and all these unknown quantities are again given you just need to put the value and then you can get the discharge value for this partially penetrating uh, wells similarly for the artesian well for the confined aquifer also we will get the discharge formula and then when we put the unknown quantities then we can get the actual value of the QP that is the part due to the partial penetration what is actually the discharge through these wells so that is that is for today thank you for watching the video and we will in the next video we will meet again thank you